Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are taking a look at the Sweetall E18 Pro, an 18 watt diode laser that is focused on the ease of getting up and running while having the speed and power to be an effective laser engraver. And did I mention that this is the most inexpensive 18 watt laser that I've seen? Well it is. But does the Sweetall live up to those claims? Let's find out. Before we begin, this Sweetall E18 Pro was provided for me to review by TomTop, a leading online retailer of consumer electronics. As with all of my reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links, so if you're interested in anything you see, you can use those links to help support my channel. Let's get into it. The Sweetall E18 Pro is a benchtop laser engraver with an 18 watt, 455 nanometer blue diode laser. Diode lasers are great for natural materials like wood, leather, and stone, as well as opaque acrylics and stainless steel. On top of the laser module, we see the integrated cooling fan, which blows through the module, both cooling the laser and helping push away smoke. The laser module has an air assist nozzle installed for an optional air assist compressor. I don't have Sweetall's air compressor, so I won't be reviewing the compressor itself, but since the nozzle is installed, I used my own compressor during the review so I don't damage the lens. Also on the laser module is a red positioning light. However, the included light burn config doesn't make use of it, and the crosshairs are not in line with the X and Y axes, so you can't use it to square your stock. I mostly ignored the positioning light, but you could configure light burn to make use of it if you'd like. Focusing the laser was easy using the included focusing tool. You place it on your material, then you loosen your two screws and slide the laser down onto the tool. You then tighten the screws and you are focused and ready to go. Unfortunately, as you see there, my laser module was loose on the x-axis. The module connects to the x-axis using metal tubular wheels. My laser arrived with wheels that are not fully tightened, which caused the laser module to tilt. Unfortunately, I could not figure out how to tighten the wheels to reduce that motion. No matter the combination of set screws that I loosened, I could not get that wheel to rotate in order to tighten. There's not enough motion to cause issues during engraving that I experienced, and it didn't seem to cause focusing issues, but that tilt wasn't confidence inspiring. I do like the construction of the frame. The frame appears to be cast aluminum and is sturdy yet lightweight. The E18 Pro comes 99% pre-assembled, with the entire frame and gantry assembled and nicely cable managed. The included cable chain is nice, and I like how it is recessed into the frame itself. That prevents cables from getting snagged during operation. The rest of the assembly was simply screwing on the laser module holder, sliding in the module, attaching the air assist hose and cable. I was up and running in less than 15 minutes. The total working area is a little smaller than similar benchtop laser engravers, at 365mm by 305mm. The cable chain decreases the available area slightly. It is still large enough for all of my usual projects, and I didn't find myself limited by the available area. On front of the E18 Pro is the safety lockout key, an alarm light, and a power switch. On the other side, we see the connection for an optional rotary roller accessory, USB connection, and an HDMI port for an optional touchscreen controller. Finally, on the right side, we see the power output for controlling the optional air assist compressor, power inputs, and a USB Type-C input for connecting to your computer. The Wi-Fi antenna is also on the right side. As mentioned before, the laser I received did not include the air assist compressor or honeycomb bed. I used my own during the review, and I highly recommend anyone pick up their own. They make for a much more consistent cutting experience. The Sweetall E18 Pro laser can work with any Gerbil compatible software, including Laser Gerbil and Lightburn. Laser Gerbil is free and works well enough, but I'd recommend purchasing a license for Lightburn. All of my tests were done using Lightburn, and it was easy to set up by importing the config on the provided SD card. With the specs out of the way, let's look at some of my test pieces. First up, Woods. The E18 Pro did a great job at cutting through 3mm plywood at speeds at the top end of similar powered lasers. However, where I think it fell behind was the discoloration on the edges. Even with air assist, deeper engraving of wood left soot around the edges. The air assist and fan didn't have enough power to prevent darkening. Photo engraving was fine after playing around with the speeds a bit. And speaking of soot, leather had a similar effect. While the laser is very powerful and can engrave fast and deep, the leather showed the same darkening around the engravings. At least with leather, you can wipe the soot away. Underneath, you can see the consistent engraving depth. Diode lasers cannot cut clear acrylics, but opaque acrylics like this black acrylics work great. The accuracy of this keychain design is spot on, however you can see the removed acrylic dust collecting on the edges. I love these slate coasters. The E18 Pro worked great on the slate. I was able to run it slightly faster than many of the other 20-ish watt lasers that I've tested, and it seems very consistent over the whole surface. These anodized aluminum business cards have the same issue that the wood and acrylic showed. It engraved just fine, however the edges were darkened from the removed material. 
Finally, we have stainless steel. By adjusting the power and line intervals, you can get beautiful colored oxides to form on stainless steel. I achieved gorgeous blues, browns, and purples from my tests. The last feature I want to mention is the tilt detection. The Sweetall E18 Pro does have tilt detection built in, which will cut power to the laser and sound the alarm if the machine is tilted. For example, if it falls off of a table. However, the E18 Pro seems to only detect if it is tilted at least 45 degrees. This will probably detect if it is pulled completely off of a table, but it isn't sensitive enough to detect smaller shifts, like a single leg falling off a table. I'd really like it to be more sensitive. In conclusion, I found the Sweetall E18 Pro to be a very powerful 18 watt diode laser. It often outsped other 20 watt lasers that I've tested and did a great job at cutting through wood and dark acrylic. However, I was disappointed by the soot left behind on the edges of the engraving. I wish the fan was more powerful or the laser shroud was redesigned to more effectively remove soot. I like the frame design, the embedded cable chain gives it a more industrial appearance and keeps the cables safely tucked away. The 365 by 305 mm work area is large enough for most hobbyist projects, however it is an unusual size, so it might be hard to find a honeycomb table that fits it exactly, as it doesn't look like Sweetall sells a table specifically for this size. You might have to settle for a 300 by 300 mm table. The Sweetall E18 Pro is on sale for 343 US dollars at the time of recording. This is by far the cheapest 18 watt diode laser that I've seen. I'm kind of blown away by the pricing. The Sweetall E18 Pro isn't perfect, but it does get the job done. If you are mostly interested in cutting performance at a very low cost, and you aren't bothered by darkened edges, then the E18 Pro could be the workhorse that you're looking for. If you need more pristine engraved surfaces, then you should give the E18 Pro a pass. So thank you all for watching my review of the Sweetall E18 Pro. What was your favorite features of the E18 Pro? What features do you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to Hoffman Engineering so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And are you still looking for a laser? Why not check out my review of the Two Trees TTS 20 Pro? It might just be the laser engraver you are looking for. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.